Hi everyone, Paolo here. Welcome back to the channel where I make how to videos. I'm back with another Unreal Engine tutorial. This is part of the character animation how to series. In this video, we're going to learn how to do animation retargeting with meshes of the same skeleton using bone translation. Let's go. So what is animation retargeting? Animation retargeting is a process of repurposing existing animations for use between multiple characters. Eliminating the need to create entirely new animations as you could instead share your animation assets between characters. So here I have the official documentation. I'll link it in the description below. There's an example here where why you would use retargeting. So for example, you have this uh, tree meshes, this character meshes. Um, there's the base character, there's a short guy and a skinny guy. So before retargeting, if you apply any animation to those meshes, it would distort the e mesh. It could put some spaces between the mesh or it could stretch the mesh to make it fit the animation. So when you apply uh, retargeting, it would fix that for you. So in the gold there is the original animation and in the white is what would happen. It would um, make the animation proportion to your mesh. So, so how does it work? So sharing of animation through animation retargeting can be done in two forms of rig characters. So characters with the same skeleton, meaning the same bone names and hierarchy, but different mesh proportion. And the second is characters with a different skeleton altogether. This would entail using an IK rig, which allows animation retargeting from one character skeleton and pass that bone information to another skeleton. I'll be covering the retargeting animation with a different skeleton on another video. So subscribe if you want to get notified for that. So here I have a third person template. When a skeleton is created, it is identified by the bone translation that came with the imported mesh. So with the template, we're not importing any mesh. We're using what is provided by UE5. So under the content drawer here, I have a folder called characters and I have two folders here, the UE4 mannequin and the UE5 mannequin. So I'll be uh, using the UE4 mannequin because when you go to the marketplace, most of the assets that are free are rigged with the UE4 mannequin. Rig, what I mean is if I open the skeleton here, if you notice the bone structure here, there's a root, pelvis, spine, and all of that. If you want to see the bone information on the character itself, you could go to under character, bone, and select all hierarchy. So this is the bone information for this uh, UE4 mannequin. So most free assets, when they say rig with UE skeleton, they could be rigged with the UE4 skeleton, meaning it follows this bone um, information. So there's a couple of projects from the marketplace that I'm gonna use some assets for, which is the subway sequencer. This is using UE4, and the other one is Unreal Match 3, also using UE4. So I'll drop the links in the description below. So here I have the subway sequencer uh, project already created. If you go under the character here, Trooper, Mesh, and open this. Um, skeleton mesh uh, you can see that this is the trooper um, and then this on the left is the bone hierarchy you would see that there's additional bones here like pack A and pack B which is specific to this mesh if I scroll a little bit further down there's more bones here that are not used by this character so you should not worry about that but overall it's following the same um, naming structure for the skeleton. So this could be used as the same skeleton on UE4. So to export this, go under the content browser, look for the skeleton mesh, right click, select asset actions, and then click export. I'm gonna save this on my desktop. Use the default export options. That should be it. Let's also do the same for the other project. So this is the uh, Unreal Match project it has this uh, couch night in here that we're gonna use so I'll open the content browser go under night and open this it's a purple it's a uh, skeleton mesh so open that up for this one's a bit interesting because uh, the 
naming structure is all the same except for one bit. So if I go under thigh here, there's a calf, foot, and thigh twist. If I jump into one of the characters here for the UE4, if I go under thigh, calf, there's a calf twist bone, which is not present on this particular um, skeletal mesh. So this in, is actually not compatible, but we're still going to use it. So to export this, go back to the content browser, right click the skeleton mesh, select asset actions, and then click on export. And select the default options and export. Cool. So now let's jump back to my third person project. So here we're going to start importing those assets. Um, there's only one animation on this uh, UE4 um, skeleton, which is the jog forward, and that is how it looks like. I'm going to pause that. I'm going to go to the content drawer here, and I'm going to drag the skeleton mesh and drop it on my level here. And I'm going to rotate this guy. And going back to my content drawer, I'm just going to create a couple of folders and we'll start importing the assets. So we have trooper and we have knight. Let's start with the trooper. So from your exported FBX project, uh, drag and drop them. And for the import options, select the UE4 skeleton. So under there, select the SK Mannequin Skeleton, then import. You'll get this warning, which is fine. So I'm going to clear that out. And when I open this, you'll see that the skeleton information it's using is from the same skeleton that we have. I could jump in the skeleton tab here, and you would see it's uh, now referenced uh, the same skeleton. So this mesh is using the same skeleton. Let me go and save all. Well, what's also interesting is added additional bone information. It, so it merged the additional bone that it has on the original skeleton. And it still works. So if I now go to my level here and apply this trooper, the skeletal mesh, and rotate it 90. Um, let's apply some animation now. So if I select this under the animation mode here, set that to animation asset, and then you could select any animation because there's only one. It's gonna do just select the jog forward. Do the same for the trooper, animation asset, and then jog forward. Um, so if I, you would notice something with this trooper that the foot is actually inside the ground instead of um, on the ground. Uh, if I hit play here, you would see they're doing the animation, but there's some tweaks that we need to do for this uh, trooper guy because his mesh is a bit taller than the original base model. Cool. Uh, we'll do that later. Let's do another import. So if I go to the character folder here, then go on the knight and select the couch knight. So this is interesting now. So if I drag and drop this and I select the skeleton and I hit import, I'm going to get this failed me uh, message. There's a warning, failed to merge bone. That's because the bone is not compatible with the mesh. Um, if I hit yes, it would destructively destroy the skeleton. So hit no for this one. It would still import it. Close that and save all so when you hit save all it's going to complain that the skeletal mesh asset has an incompatible skeleton so just for this demo i'm showing that uh, this would happen if the bone structure is not correct but it could still be used so if i open this um, you would see it's still referencing the same skeleton that we have it still works but then there's no um, calf information, this calf to his bone. This mesh doesn't have that information and it's throwing that error. Cool, so let's jump into the level here and I'll add that skeletal mesh. 
and I'll do the 90 degrees here and up, do the same apply the animation asset and the anim to play you would see for this character now it's popping up if I play this quickly so this the trooper is a bit taller the short guy is up in the air so this is where the bone translation retargeting comes to place to fix this animation you would use the bone translation retargeting so go under the uh, skeleton here and under the gear icon here select uh, show retargeting options so when you do that you'll have this options shown to you when you hover on the root bone here on one of the animation if you click command option so on Windows, you'll have something similar. So this is the instruction. Retargeting can be set up from the skeleton tree panel in Persona. Typically, you would want to use these settings for bipeds. So root bone, IK bones, weapon bones, any kind of markers will use the animation mode. Pelvis will use the animation scaled. All other bones will use the skeleton. So this is how you would set it up. So first, go under the root bone, select the top bone here or similar right click and set uh, that to translation uh, skeleton translation targeting skeleton recursively so everything now would be using the skeleton information and then next is go to the pelvis or similar and this time use the animation scaled for this one and that should fix that one and any other bones like this um, additional bones here IK foot bone you could set that to animation I'm gonna save that now if I jump to my level here I quickly play this you would see that they are now positioned properly the trooper is now on the right level and this couch knight is now on the ground running properly cool so now animations are shared across the meshes using the same skeleton. Hope you learned something from this video. Check out the full animation how-to series. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers. Bye for now.